Let's move on to our third main topic today. And today our third main topic comes to us from our friend Kevin Crutchfield who writes, Hey John, saw that Greg Berlanti is developing a Green Lantern based TV series for HBO Max that he claims is like nothing we've ever seen before. They all freaking say that every single time. Uh, first, a Superman TV show and now a Green Lantern show in development. Does this mean that a Green Lantern feature anytime soon may be facing Da -da, darkest Night. Get the I see what he did I there. I see in there. Uh, sounds pretty ominous, along with the fact that we've had no updates on the proposed Green Lantern movie anytime recently. Would love to hear your thoughts. Rob, you know, they did just announce a, a new Superman CW show. Um, my What I said on, on my show the other day was that I, I, I think this is probably an indicator that Warner Brothers ain't going to be moving forward with any Superman movie anytime soon. We've been talking for a couple of years, and Warner Brothers has been bouncing around this idea of Green Lantern. Number one, what do you think about the idea of them doing a Green Lantern on HBO Max? And secondly, do you think this will have any impact on the notion of them doing a Green Lantern movie? Understanding that the moment they brought in Joe Manganiello's Deathstroke in that post credit scene, they instantly told CW they could no longer have Manu Bennett's Deathstroke on there. What do you think about the idea? How do you think it's going to affect any movie prospects? First of all, I've always loved Green Lantern. Ever since I was a little kid, I love the Green Lantern core. There's such a rich mythology there. I, 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 I will even admit this, John. I own the Blu-ray of Green Lantern. I like Ryan Reynolds' Green Lantern. I like wow. all the stuff on Oa. I like the Watcher stuff. It, the villain stuff so weird, the Parallax stuff. But I, a Green Lantern show could be badass. And, and I, I'm really excited for it. I don't think there's going to be a movie. But there's something else in this announcement that we're not talking about. Is they also announced an anthology show. Yes. And, and I think it's called it's Strange Adventures, I think, which is based on an old anthology comic. And they talked about they're going to do an Ad Adam Strange is going to be one of the characters. I mean, I love Adam Strange. They are killing it in terms of mining the DC universe. And both of these shows are going to be on HBO Max. And I am deliriously excited for both. The idea that they're going to have an, an anthology DC series, God knows what they could do with that. I cannot wait. Um, and and seeing the Green Lantern, I hope it's the Green Lantern core. You know, I want to see everything. I want to see the Watchers, or not the Watchers, that's Marvel. I want to see the, the Guardians of Oa. I want to see the whole Green Lantern core. You would be a great Green Lantern. They should put Aaron Cummings. Aaron Cummings would make a great I mean, Green Lantern. I mean, there's a lot of cool female Green Lantern characters, and I would love to see all of them. They're all in various shades. I mean, I want to see all the shades of lanterns. I want to see the Blackest Night happen. I can't wait. Aaron, I mean... Look, I know that you already said, uh, you know, this is more Tom's gig, but still, I mean, you, these are major, major properties, and now it's moving over to a streaming service, which is becoming a bigger and bigger thing now. What did you make of this news? I think it's very exciting. I, first of all, Greg Berlanti, I love. He's he's the Shonda Rhimes of superheroes. <laughs> yeah, that's a great way to put it. <laughs> that is a great I way mean, to put it. I the, mean, the, this guy, I don't even, like, I don't even have enough fingers and toes to count the number of TV shows that he has currently on the air, much less the number of shows that he has produced throughout his career. Um, I love the fact also that this is going to HBO Max because as popular as his CW shows are, they're obviously limited in the content that they can put out. I think the fact that this is going to be on HBO Max is really going to push that and we're going to see a much darker side of Greg Berlanti. And I don't think that that's, uh, I think that's not a coincidence. Um, I think that he's wanting to break out of the CW kind of bubble that he has done very, very well in. And it'll be very exciting to see you know, what we do, considering that I will be a Green Lantern. Thank you very much for that. By the way, Rob. you know who should be Hal Jordan? Aaron Tom. Cummings. Oh, Tom. Oh, Tom Your would make husband a great, is Hal Jordan. He would be a great when Hal I, Jordan. I, when I first met him, when I was seeing, well, I don't know, what, what we, we went and saw Joker. When we came out and I walked out and he was talking, I saw, I'm like, that dude is a superhero. Yeah, and I'm he, like he, his the, his dream role he is, is the perfect Hal Jordan. That guy. I've been t I've been saying this for we got to get Tom in here. Yeah, he uh, would love it. He, He's always he, like, I don't understand. You know nothing about any of these movies. <laughs> Why are you on John's show and I'm not? He looks a little bitter of him. That's He's like, a little sour grapes. I'm kidding. He's probably watching the show right now because he actually does watch the show. No, I'm I mean, just kidding. He, no, Tom would be fantastic. He's got to call his agent and get on that because he would be a great <laughs> lantern. Well, Tom actually does not have an agent right now. He's recently parted ways with his entire team and is a solo venturist. Well, so I guess he's making check changes. Check out Tom. 
Tom out Degnan, from New York. D-E-G-N-A-N. All right, guys. Uh, question here is, what do you guys husband. think about this Green Lantern stuff? Do you think it's going to affect their coming movie? I actually think it will. I, I don't think, don't hold your breath to see a Green Lantern movie anytime soon. No. If, uh, if uh, it, Warner Brothers and their patterns stick true. But do you think maybe it could? Jump down to the comment section below and leave us your thoughts. Now that All we've right. cast the show, they should exactly. just move forward.